Now let's look at how the review process actually works on Growsum. Let's say in your company employees can do self-evaluation. So the, when the review starts, first up employees are notified. They log on to Growsum and see that one of their open tasks is to do self-review. Here an employee can see the different review form sections they have to complete as well as who the reviewers are and the relative weightage. Let's start with performance ratings. Here we can see the performance measures that have been set are listed. The employee can self-rate from a preset scale. For measurable goals, the actual achievement can be recorded and Grossum automatically recommends a rating. All the while, the overall performance score of the employee gets computed and displayed. For each goal, the employee can further add details and comments to justify the self-rating. Once done, employees can go to the other form sections to provide inputs. Let's look at the development form. Here the employee can intimate any development and training needs identified during the review period. These needs can also be tagged to specific performance measures such that managers and HR understand the context of why this need is identified. Once all inputs are provided, employee can sign off and the reviewers accordingly notified by Grossum. Now when the reviewer logs on to Grossum, they see that one of their open tasks is be the reviewer. Here the reviewer can see the list of employees they are reviewing and the current status of the form. For those employees who have signed off, the reviewer can now access the form and start the review process. Let's start with performance ratings. Here we can see the employee self ratings of their performance measures. The managers too rates the employees on each of the measures as well as add details and comments. Grossum provides a compare tool that allows reviewers to compare within a set of employees the ratings he or she has given on the goals. This is quite useful for relative rating of employees. All the while the overall performance score of the employee is computed and displayed. Once done, the reviewers can go to the other form sections to provide inputs. So let's look at the transfer and promotion form. Here the reviewer can recommend an employee to be promoted and suggest what can be the future profile for the employee. Additional details as required can be submitted here too. Similarly in the development form, the reviewer can see what inputs the employee has submitted and add more if required. Once all inputs are provided, the reviewer can sign off and the form then moves on to the next leg of the workflow. In certain organizations, review moderation helps a senior executive monitor and audit the quality of review inputs by managers as well as ensure the process is fair and transparent. With Growsum, you can set multi-levels of moderation, even specific to employees. So if there is a moderation layer, then the review form travels to the moderator once it is signed off by the reviewer. When moderator logs on to Growsum, they see that one of their open tasks is be the moderator. Here the moderator can see the list of employees they are moderating and the current status of the form. For those employees whose forms have been signed off by the reviewers, the moderator can now access the form and start the moderation process. Let's look at performance ratings. Here we can see the employees and reviewers ratings of the performance measures. The moderators can make changes to reviewers ratings if required. Similarly, moderators can go to the other form sections to provide inputs. Let's look at the development form. Here the moderator can see what inputs the employee and reviewer has submitted and add more if required. Once happy with what his inputs have been given, moderator can sign off and the move form moves on to the next leg of the workflow. In Grusome, you can set up the review process to complete with an acceptance procedure where the employee reviews the inputs given by managers and formally agrees to it by signing off on the tool. So in this case, once review and moderation has happened, the form travels back to the employee for acceptance. When employee logs on to Grosum, they see that now one of their open tasks is accept and sign off on review. Here the employee can see the different form sections and a summary of the inputs provided by the managers. By going to each form section, the employee can view the reviewer's ratings and the various inputs provided. In case an employee has multiple reviewers, then the inputs of either managers can be seen from one single view. Once done, in case the employee is dissatisfied with the review, then he or she can choose to disagree for which a reason has to be provided. In this case, the managers and HR are notified and the form opens up for the reviewer to reconsider in the inputs and sign off again for review acceptance. In case the employee is now happy with the review, then he or she can confirm agreement and this completes the review for the employee. Again, managers and HR are automatically notified by Grossum on successful completion of the process. Grossum is adequately flexible to automate the end-to-end -end workflow of a performance review in any organization. That too supported with automated alerts and reminders. So come sign up and get going. The truth obviously isn't smelling the rose.